Hello kiddos, Sir ESC here, and today let's talk about how to draw the ray diagrams of the images formed by concave mirror. <laughs> what is a ray diagram? A ray diagram is a pictorial representation of how the light travels to form an image and can tell you the characteristics of the image. And that is our primary goal as we learn today about ray diagram. This is an example of a ray diagram. C and F were mentioned already in the previous videos about the terminologies in the ray diagram. C is again the center of curvature, while F is our principal focus. While the arrow represents the object that is in front of the mirror. Our first step is draw a ray starting from the top of the object parallel to the principal axis. And we can show that through this. And then through F after reflection. So the ray passes the principal focus. Step number two. Draw a ray starting from the top of the object through the F. So how do we do that? I'll use a green line to represent our second step. Then parallel to the principal axis after reflection. So it appears like this. That is our second line. And lastly, draw a ray starting from the top of the object through C, then back upon itself. That's why if you can see, we have an arrowhead here and on the other end, representing that it back upon itself. And these are the three basic steps in drawing the ray diagram for concave mirror. You have to take note that the intersection is the location of the image. Therefore, the image appears here. This time, let us describe the characteristics of the image formed by this concave mirror. We will describe its size, attitude, location, and type. For the size, as you see, it is reduced or it becomes smaller. For the attitude, the image is inverted. For the location, the image is formed on the same side of the mirror. And when an image is formed in the same side of the mirror, it means that we form a what we call real image. And like virtual image, real image can be projected on a screen. And these are the characteristics of the image we form in this concave mirror. However, we have several cases for concave mirror. And what we have shown here is our case number one. The object is located beyond the center of curvature. And again, the result is like this. So we have other four cases to solve. Case number two, three, four, and five. To visualize these cases, let's have the next slide. For case number two, the object is located at the center of the curvature. So therefore, you have to put the image at the center of curvature. Case number three, the object is located between the center of curvature and the focal point. And it appears like this. Case number four, the object is located at the focal point. Lastly, case number five, the object is located in front of the focal point. And it looks like this. This time, apply what you have learned. Follow the steps in drawing the ray diagram of this 
cases of the concave mirror. And watch my next video to check your answers. Once more, use salt to describe all the images that will be formed in these cases. SALT stands for size, attitude, location, and type. This time, let us discuss some of the applications of concave mirrors. We have learned that the inside of a spoon is the best example of a concave mirror. But in terms of application, the satellite dish, headlights of different vehicles, microscopes mirror, magnifying glass, and even the mirror used by ENT doctors, all these are concave mirror. So this is how useful concave mirrors are. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something today. Do not forget to watch my next episode to check your answers for this activity. Bye-bye and God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>